So somebody told me to do this for him to say that my first hidden gem video was actually of a duo with CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard. This may or may not be a series of its own, but as of right now, this is just to show you guys the kind of beastly fucking hidden gem dynamic duos that you can find in the game when you're not even looking for it. The two that I have for y'all today are number one, starting with the boy, number one draft pick, broken foot, Ben Simmons himself. No, I'm not sure there's a lot that goes into this, but first of all, let me say the duo with him and Cat is great because not only does it make him a better shooter, it makes Cat a better shooter as well, and his three-pointer goes up to about a 80. But there's a slight glitch in Ben Simmons' dynamic duel with Carl Anthony Towns. When you put them together and you do this little thing where you go over him and add him a three-point shoe, I think any three-point shoe would do, but I personally like to use the Kobe BHM 11s, that are the silver ones. He gives a plus 6-3 and a plus 6 post fadeaway. And when you have the duel on him with Cat, I think his three goes up to like a 70 or a 76. But look at this, when you add the shoe to him and then go to his player card again, go down to his three-pointer and see what the fuck that shit says 86 driving layup 90 fucking three open shot three shout out to my boy ambush because he was the one that actually made a video on this first and i ended up seeing it and wondering if this shit was really true there's been speculation whether or not this is just a display glitch or he actually does have a 93 open three points at that point you genuinely don't know for sure because when you go to his stat screen even when you're shooting our own i think it will still say like 59 open shot three or some shit and that for a fact isn't true because when he has the boost he naturally is at like a 70 so you know that the 59 is fake and that's not true either so it's not like that debunks the whole situation i've tried to test it myself and it's hilarious that i can honestly say i don't know if it's real or not because with how inconsistent three points as i've been lately ever since the last patch i don't know what is a good shot what is a bad shot what will go in and what won't go in but whether or not the 93 three pointer is actually a thing i know that when i put him at point guard with this boost he actually becomes a fucking cheat because he has great dribble moves He's fast as shit with the ball. He can actually hit the three points. I don't know if it's that not done as these stats are making out to be. And on top of that all, he's going to dunk all the fuck over everybody. Next up, we have what has become my favorite dynamic duo in the game right now. The other night, I won a King's Kmart for 45,000 MT on a bid at like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. And I noticed he had a dynamic duo. That's the only reason I picked him up. Because I saw he was at 86 and was already cheese as shit. So, I went out, found his dynamic duo, which is Carl Landry. They both played on the Kings and the Rockets together. I think that's their duo boost. And he goes up to an 89 Ruby version of himself. And then to top that all off, I gave him that same Kobe shoot to give him a plus six post fadeaway and three pointer. And look at this cheese shit. An 83 post fadeaway. I'll wait for this. Wait for this shit. I bet you're going to look him up on the auction house right now. 98 open shot three. Holy fucking. I know, I know, just bask in the ambiance of this motherfucker's greatness. He is so good. And his defensive stats shoot all the way up to a very respectable level other than his three-point shot. His speed goes up as well and he becomes just a flat-out main go-to scoring option. Give him the ball and get the fuck out of the way. And the beauty of it is this Carl Landry actually becomes pretty decent as well. A 92 open mid-range. His vertical goes up, he gets a little bit more athletic and he gets a 90 offensive rebound. That's enough for you to get away with. Personally, I don't even know if I should start him i don't know if i should bring it off the bench but he's able to hold his own on the court with kmart and that's all that matters so it's up to uno if you want to try out these duos as i showed you today if you like the idea of these videos then be sure to let me know the ben simmons and carl anthony tones ones is probably if you don't have as much mt but definitely if you can find a way to pick up one of these kmarts carl andre is not expensive at all and basically you're paying what forty thousand for a ruby player that has almost a maxed out three pointer literally this could be my shooting guard until i actually get king's mitch richmond this is as good of a shooting guard as it's going to get you on the night baby got been thinking you out here with your girlfriends saw love yeah i got some niggas i could call up we could get it popping